Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Atkinson, President and CEO here at the Chicago Zoological Society and Director of Brookfield Zoo. And today we're standing here with our African painted dogs uh, and I'm joined with uh, Dr. Sathya Chinadurai. Um, we're filming one of Dr. Mike's video blogs, which we've not done in a while um, since I changed positions here with the society, but I'm really excited to be introducing Dr. Sathya, who's joined us back here at Brookfield Zoo. Sathya was formerly here as a senior staff veterinarian and was at the uh, St. Louis Zoo for several years as their director of animal health. And uh, we are thrilled to have him back here at Brookfield Zoo as our new senior vice president of animal health and welfare. So. We did some exams on these dogs last week. Sathya, do you want to kind of start out and just talk a little bit about what the vet team was up to last week? Absolutely. Thanks, Dr. Mike. Our veterinary staff was able to look at four of our female painted dogs. Um, we did their full wellness exams, so we screened them for cardiac disease. We did full cardiac ultrasonography with a boarded veterinary cardiologist. We also did full body radiographs, blood work, and evaluated their, their teeth, their skin, um, their organ function, all part of our routine health program. Since some of these females are no longer in breeding situations, we did also place contraceptive implants in them so that we can maintain them in their normal social grouping without um, any, any worry about uh, pregnancy or breeding. And the social dynamics of these dogs in particular is something that's really neat. And mm -hmm. we obviously saw them all come running out here just a minute ago. And um, obviously there's a hierarchy within the group here. They're very excited. This was food that they're, they're all sort of jockeying for position over right now. And this is a really enriching experience for the animals. And this is something that we try and do when we can in terms of feeding them in a more natural way. So these are natural food items and it allows them to really express and display a lot of these natural behaviors that we would see in the wild and really helps to, to maintain their enriched life that we'd like for them to have here at the zoo. We mentioned uh, a minute ago, you said that they also had uh, cardiac exams as part of that mm -hmm. workup. So uh, the veterinary cardiologist that came in to do that, let's talk a little bit about what that looks like and the different specialists that we rely on at the zoo. Here at Brookfield Zoo, we have a number of clinical veterinarians who are specialists in zoological medicine, but sometimes we reach out to our colleagues who are specialists in other fields, such as cardiology, ophthalmology, or dentistry. And in this case, knowing that painted dogs in managed care um, are known to have heart disease or cardiac disease. We did have a veterinary cardiologist join us for those exams so she could perform an ultrasound of their heart to look at their heart function and help us better tailor their medication and preventative care. So, so with these particular exams, this was part of just our, our wellness checkup uh, on these animals. We do that with all of the animals here at the zoo just to make sure that they're, they're in good health and these preventative checkups are a major part of what the veterinary team does. Um, with the painted dog exams last week, assume everything was okay, everything looked good. Thankfully, all of those animals are, are healthy and continuing to thrive, as you can see. Yeah, very excited pack today. Um, obviously a lot of excitement, a lot of uh, communication, a lot of noise going on behind us. Always something fun to uh, come out and see. Thanks Dr. Sathya for joining me here today and thanks to all of you for joining us online. It's kind of a cold and blustery day here today but uh, we're hoping for some warmer spring weather here soon and uh, we hope to be able to welcome all of you out here to Brookfield Zoo soon. Um, please come out and join us. We've got a lot of wonderful and exciting things happening this year and we hope to see you all soon.